All right, folks, you asked, here I am. Let's check out Devolver Digital's press conference, which I wish I would have seen instead of the Gearbox one, but this will serve as a nice palate cleanser after what I felt was a complete waste of time. There was just nothing in that press conference that was of, of substance, but with Devolver Digital, at least we'll probably get a few laughs because their skits are actually kind of funny and outrageous, and they go all in on that. But hello, everyone. We're, we're going to maybe wait a couple minutes just to make sure everyone's here who wants to be here. Um, but yeah, th for those who don't know, this press conference already happened, but I decided to skip this one in favor of the Gearbox one because I thought we were going to see a lot of Wonderlands gameplay or something like that. But that didn't happen, to say the least. So I'm going back to the Devolver Digital Conference and streaming it alongside you guys just for fun. Um, some of you may have already seen it. I have not. So all my reactions here are going to be completely from someone who has no idea what's going to happen. Um, Unoda Kina says, I'm going to warn you now, Devolver's show is mostly a skit with lots of yelling. Still better than Gearbox. Love y'all. Hey, how's your voice work going? Yes, I have watched previous De <laughs> Devolver digital conferences before and, um... You know, they're ballsy, to say the least. Uh, a lot of insane stuff happens in them, and I'm all for it. You know, they, they're very self-conscious about what they're doing. They make fun of the industry constantly. I don't know. I, I enjoy their shows. I, um, I'm in it as much for the skits as I am for the games, you know? It's that type of press conference. Because, again, they actually do make me laugh. Yeah, Pacua says, let's hope this will be better. Hope everyone enjoys this. It can't be any worse than what just happened. I certainly hope not. We will see. But, uh, yeah, appreciate the super chat so far, and I'm going to wait like a minute or two, and then we'll get started. <laughs> Falkyrie says, more Yong? That's all I wanted. Well, ask and ye shall receive. Faraz Mobin says, VR Splinter Cell and AC Assassin's Creed VR announced last year. Oh, yeah. What's Splinter Cell VR? Let's see. It's been a while since I've seen anything on that. Was that a th Yeah. Right. Did, did we get any gameplay? I don't think so. Yeah, I guess there's that, but you know, I'd love a proper experience. But also, if they nail Splinter, Splinter Cell VR, I'd be down for that. You know, I have my index hooked up, and after Alex, you know, it's hard to top that in terms of VR fidelity and interactivity and how well that's implemented. Ah, Pakue. Who is a member says more young equals <laughs> more yeah. You're gonna have to use that one. Um, let's see. Uh, Alex Platt, the lack of Splinter Cell and Ubisoft showcase physically hurt me. Also, cheers for the fab stream. Thank you very much. Much obliged. All right, with that last one out of the way, let's just dive right into the show. This is GameSpot stream of it. I'm just gonna stream that, I guess. Here we go. Ooh, we're opening up with Shadow Warrior. This game looks awesome. It looks like Doom with... But with freaking With an Asian motif with, like, ninjas and samurais and, and... Demons. Well, that's very much Doom, I guess. But really, really unique designs for enemies and monsters. With a... Yeah, I mean, with a grappling hook. The hook shot. And, and with a melee as well. It looks fantastic. badass. Oh yeah, and you got the finishers that are also reminiscent of Doom. This is definitely what I call a, a Doom-like, if you will, but nothing wrong with that. It, there's enough unique stuff going on here where I'm, I'm intrigued by its aesthetics and by gameplay elements that, you know, aren't in Doom necessarily. There's so much going on on screen that the uh, the compression on YouTube is just... YouTube doesn't like <laughs> just how much is happening. Like, 
the footage is almost slightly blurry because of all the compression. I make it, and because it's a stream, it makes it even worse, but it still looks good, honestly. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. This is our first year of I remember this one. the very best of what video games have to offer. <laughs> Lots of changes at Devolver since the last time we were here. Old, outdated, irrelevant. You're straight busted. I've got something better. That's what's in store, Today folks. Is only the beginning. This was, I think, two years ago, the two, three years ago. Of video games and the future's future, future. That's a genuinely good actor, though. I gotta say, the lady. I don't give a flipping freak about stupid live video game events. Hello. I need you to help me stop the future's future, future. I'm in on a million, million. <gasps> what is happening? Yeah. Sure about that? This is a previously on, basically. So then, you know, we kind of wrap it up after that. I, I'm thinking it's like a four, five year deal. Huh? I mean, huh? Right? Wait. Well, I think it's shit garbage. Fucking Wait. shit garbage. That's Dina I mean, from The Last of Us, too. That'll never work. And you're like an the model of Dina, not the performer of Dina, up? the model. Uh, I thought an this shit asshole up. thinks this shit up. We're not doing a four year long series of narrative videos about the futures, futures, whatever the shit. Above our digital cinematic <laughs> universe. You shit. Your fucking face. That was supposed to be me, right? My face. Is that even legal? Yeah, that's the model of Dina. Well, what is she doing here? Attribution and slash or image rights upon execution of an employment contract, clear as day. Basically, we can do whatever we want with your likeness, even if it is some stupid deep fake video. I'm all for it. I'm just Enough. confused. Enough of this. You less talking, more typing. You, I don't like it. The internet would never buy it. We produce video games, video games at Devolver Digital and damn good ones, <laughs> I'm told. Now, get the hell out of my conference room and take your dumb movie idea with you. Yeah, but listen, it's not just a dumb movie idea. It's a multi-layered narrative universe. You don't, you don't understand. This is art. This is, this is painting with light. This is cinema. Who's that Jason Momoa lookalike? Well... Listen, slimes, it is a goddamn white-hot arms race out there. A hype-eats-hype, hype, media-fueled intimidation game, a boss mode, knuckle-fuck, nut-kick. And we are falling way the mother-effing ever shit behind. Melissa, do the numbers. Yeah, so in the it's last... bad, year. people. Real type bad. We need a fresh perspective. Something wild. Something stunning. Something new, but not too new, but new enough so that it seems new to those know-it-all, know-nothings in the know, you know? Actually, ma'am, I think... No. No, no, no. Record scratch. What? Who are you and why are you making noises at me? Nina. Ma'am. Uh, Nina Struthers. I'm an adjunct under executive on the marketing team. I'm gunning for synergy officer one day. Why are you pouring the coffee? Because <laughs> we need coffee. Grab it, hack jaw. Nina, is it? Put the coffee down and talk at my face. There's like a whole lore to this. Uh, the thing of it is... Um, Which is crazy. A few of us were talking and... Monetization. As a service. <laughs> what he said. That's gotta be the most ridiculous. Let's fucking do it. See, this is what I love. They make of the they make fun of the industry constantly. For four decades. And counting. Devolver Digital has been at the absolute leading edge of technical, social, and humanitarian progress in the burgeoning videotainment market. Now that's no accident. The global research and development teams at Devolver Digital Incorporated have worked tirelessly to deliver to you, the unwashed consumers, so many breakthroughs in the video game entertainosphere that it's arguable as to whether the countless problems we've successfully solved were ever actually problems in the first place. Devolver Earliest Access delivered games to the marketplace at the exact point of conception. A developer even thinks of an idea and that shit's already for sale. Boom! Devolver Digital Screen Pay allowed loudmouth consumers to not only throw money at their screens, but to throw money at our federally unregistered offshore corporate bank accounts. Devolver What's happening even jumped ass first into that crypto life though, broth before electric car parents made it all the rage with loot box coin. The market's first and justifiably last physical cryptocurrency that lived entirely off of the blockchain. You're blam! 
Last year we spent money we didn't even have to fill the void shop. I am confused, but that's typical. The Volverland Expo spread of revolutionized it. TMCA maybe, but as an industry's very first quadruple A playable video game trade show that you could download and play as a video game. Quadruple A. Oh boy. You can play as a video game. Progress can't be stopped though, no. So this year the Volver Digital was taking aim at the blisteringly lucrative subscription service video game market. Welcome to Devolver Max Pass Plus. Was that all one shot? Gotta say. Probably took a couple of takes. Alright. Here we go. This is happening. Welcome to the future. Games as a service. A razor-edged industry shock jive that has served to convert what was, traditionally, a one-time purchase into a potentially lifelong chain ball commitment to reoccurring payments for video games that, well, let's be real deal about this, most of you don't even enjoy anymore. <laughs> Devolver likes to take things further. Dive the big dive, you know? Take the leap, push the envelope, toad the wet sprocket, go big or go home and baby. We ain't got no home to go home to. Devolver likes to take things to a place. Yeah, basically Jason Momoa. Funny. So much is, is creepily possible and uncomfortably prescient. That is why monetization as a service. <clears throat> Give me the Jason. We see it as a groundbreaking new way to keep consumers locked into a semi-regular non-payment schedule with a novel, if not needlessly complex approach, where in a top-tier service subscriber, that is you, look at you, is granted access to dozens, if not hundreds of dozens, of premium purchases at the low, low monthly price of no cost to you for the subscription itself. Hit me again! <clears throat> That is the Max Pass Plus difference. You simply apply. And your credit competency, work history, genealogical stray vector, total lunar payload weight, environmentally induced super selection state, and very first magic deck are evaluated on a 29 point density matrix. And boosh, you're absolutely Rose Street. Oh, that looks good. I have not eaten in a while. I'm kinda hungry. Mm -hmm. We'll eventually get to the games, I'm sure. Eventually. From there, you are granted direct access to purchase anything in our constantly growing collection of video games and video game related junk for free. Well, well not the purchases, they're not free, that would be insane. <laughs> But access to those purchases, though, totally freezes. This is still going. Let's, well, let's check a look. Hmm? Check a At look. Some of the video games that amazing consumers like you can look forward to. If you those two, of course, with the Volver Max Pass Plus, have been holding her up this whole time, and they don't look like they're phased at all. It's like they're lifting cardboard. All right, here we go. Games and stuff, I guess. I'm, that, that's what this is about, right? I don't know. I've lost track. This has Ghost of Tsushima vibes. Or just Kurosawa vibes. Whoa! This is 2D Ghost of Tsushima! I'm down for that. Indie 2D Ghost of Tsushima. I think. Track to Yomi. Alright. I'm intrigued. Her 
premium purchase. <laughs> Phantom Abyss is an asynchronous multiplayer experience. All phantoms are players that attempted this temple. Whoa! So this is a, uh, <laughs> this is more mature Fall Guys. Fall Guys with Indiana Jones slash Tomb Raider vibes. I mean, that's a joke. It, it's, uh, yeah, it's like a platformer navigation puzzle type of free running game. We're trying to beat other players' ghosts. Ooh. Gotta say, the, the games that Devolver Digital show and publish, they always they have something interesting going for them, you know? Yeah. I checked this out, absolutely. Fashionable. Now that's a phrase. A phrase that goes lock stock hand in hand with gamers. An exclusive state of being, if you will, to which only the most adroitly premium amongst us could ever truly endeavor to gain entry. Until now. No, 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 no. That's this, not this. I'm snapping, damn it! Being fashionable is a natural extension of the Devolver Max Pass Plus premium purchase experience. Bought from us to you by Devolver's own central textile manufacturing and weaponized branding entity subgroups. We would like to present to you our newest collection of oh, hey, Dina. garmentry, only available to the Devolver Max Pass Plus survivors. I mean, subscribers. No, oh, hi. Uh, shut up. This collection of fashionable, comfortable, and catastrophically unaffordable formal wear was designed and manufactured entirely in-house by an elite selection of our most popular and attractive interns, to whom we've given key action words and access to an internet-connected device and, shall we say, choix de vivre. You may go. Bye. As with everything else in this presentation, the Devolver Max Pass Plus I'm exclusive confused. merch collection is well what is he exclusive. Doing? Only available to subscribers in a premium purchase, not at all in the subscription fee you may or may not, but maybe, may be paying. Fashionable. Am I right? Now, let's take a deep breath and take a peek at these two premium purchase products that will be available to you soon. The adoring Devolver Max Pass Plus survivor. <laughs> Subscriber. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Who writes these scripts Ooh, and purchase. how high are they as they're doing so is my question. I love how every once in a while I look at the chat and every time I see somebody saying, what is this? We're still trying to figure it out. Digging this jam. It's cool animation, but I don't know what this game's about. Except it's about cowboys. Oh, a multiplayer survival. Oh, there we go. Nice. Follow up with gameplay. That's how you do it.
I'm intrigued as well for this one. Wizard with a gun. Switch? Wait, hold on. Switch exclusive? Premium purchase. Oh, I just wanted to check real quick. Nintendo Switch and PC. Okay, got it. Premium purchase. For those who don't know, Devolver Digital, it's pretty much all indies. And I'm all for helping support indie devs. Because they're our future. And you never know which indie game can end up becoming basically the biggest thing ever. Because they think outside the box, you know? There's no committee telling them what kind of game to make. They make whatever crazy idea they come up with, and sometimes those ideas really resonate with people. And you get just unique things that you wouldn't get out of a committee-driven project. Like this, I don't know what this is, but I'm intrigued by it. I've been intrigued by every single game that's been shown so far, so that's something. And everyone seems to, every one of those showcases has revealed some gameplay. So that, help, that sells it further. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm doing this. It's like a more action-heavy kind of 2D or 2.5D style Zelda type of thing with some cool-looking boss battles. Death Store. Never heard of this before. July 20th, wow. In a month. Since 1975, Devolver oh Digital and the many incredible developers we've partnered with have produced what can only be appropriately described as an imperial buttload of incredible games that consumers worldwide have purchased, never actually played, and then made public claims about the game's quality in order to substantiate their place in online conversations about whether or not an indie game is still indie if it has a publisher. That's why we're proud to announce the entire Devolver Digital Catalog on Steam is available at Devolver Max Pass Plus as a premium service not included in your reoccurring monthly payments that we still haven't quite nailed down yet. I don't Each of these gems will be available at a reduced rate for a baffling limited amount of time with discounts ranging from, I, why not, to fuck me, why are my pants wet? Think of it as a kind of thank you from an old friend. An old friend that believes you deserve a premium experience. You know, kudos that she remembered every single line and didn't flinch at any of the explosions. Or at that confetti, for that matter. That, <laughs> like, a shot like that is tough to pull off. Premium purchase. What? Okay, there's a weird looking one. It's a card game. With almost like 64 bit, like N64 PS1 era graphics. Or style, I should say. Want to play a round of when? What the f- I'm s this, this is weird. It looks very unique. But what is happening? <laughs> Finn's seat 1984. Well, this beats Kevin Hart. Man, and I don't know. If it was shown Kevin Hart in costume, I would have been a little more excited about the inscription. Interesting. 2021. See, every single 
digital uh, devolver digital showcase so far so maybe go a little bit of like ooh okay what's this i don't know what this is but i'm curious hey kid okay well do you love video games i'm a grown man what, what are you doing in my bathroom do you love video games Yes, I play them quite a bit. Do you want to pay for video games? Not at all, no. What if you could play a game for free, but then later we charge you for cool stuff and make you watch ads for minimal benefit to you, the consumer? Well, that doesn't sound as great. Tumble time, it's tumble time. Pick up your phone, it's tumble time. <laughs> Ignore loved one. Is this a game or skit? This is a skit. Prioritize your life. Ah, okay. Consume your very being. Turn real money into pretend money and spend it. Collect your favorite characters that you've never even heard of. Tumble time, it's tumble time. Pick up your phone, it's tumble time. Tumble time, it's tumble time. Pick up your phone, it's tumble time. I, I got nothing for this. I. Devolver is this a real is game? A Coming 2021, it's a real game. Devolver Tumble Time is the I, I guess? physics based puzzle gameplay, elegant monetization, and strategic brand integration. <laughs> it's an actual game, so it's a skit and a game. <laughs> of Devolver Digital Faves and rack a major huge of big course. time game points by matching and clearing them possibly adorable heads on the tumble. We mentioned that it's free, right? Because it's free. Except for the it's ads part, me. but there are ads because, of course, there are ads because nothing is ever really free. Get hype and unleash each character's special move and clear chunks by creating and activating chaotic chain reactions. Pre register for Devolver What is Tumble it with Time the skit and hot dogs? Google Play by visiting DevolverTumbleTime.com. Swoop uh, hey! Nina! That was a waste of chili. Let's talk about subscriptions for a moment. The subscription service is an instrument of monetization from days gone, when your grandparents wanted to try a new cheese each month and your uncle wanted to look at photos of naked ladies from the comfort of his own tool shed. A relic, an unwieldy physical beast that we have haphazardly let Chili dogs into the digital realm, leaving us with nothing but ones and zeros. Yes, my apologies for that error. For Not hot dogs, chili dogs. And perfect knockers. Devolver, though, aims to return subscription-based addiction back to its more tangible roots with a premium purchase title available only in this. The physical plane of actual, real, for real existence. Is that? Goddamn right it is. For a second, I thought she was going to pull out a gun and shoot that guy. Demon Throttle by developer Doingsoft, the creators of Gato Roboto. It is coming to the Nintendo Switch as a physical box set and only a physical box set through our good friends at Special Reserve Games. Oh, you heard me right. Demon Throttle will not, I repeat, will not be available in any digital format and is only available for you to purchase as a retail product and put on your shelf and to never play or to sell at ridiculous scalper prices to anyone who missed out on its initial offering starting today. I can't tell if she's joking or not. Check a look. Check a look. Um, Cody Culp, will you do the rest of this in your British voice? I will have to pass on that one. Um, Laura Hertzman, what is going on? We're all figuring it out as we go. Whoa. Just my right. Or something. Whoa, this is an 8-bit style game. Not even 16-bit, 8-bit. This looks kind of fun. Quality mic voice acting and everything. 
Yeah, I'm fascinated. I mean, okay. Yeah, right? I, think... I love it. It's good. Really good. Great work, Stoltz. Well, it wasn't all. Who'd have thunk? Big moves by a guy from. Where are you from? Technically, I'm not supposed to be here. That's um, great, feeling... Okay, now bring it home. Hit me with the big move. What's the punch? There isn't one. He does not have. Videotapes. Nina! Well, tape. Uh, what she said. What's this now? Well, we put the entire thing on a tape and then sell it. Right? Like, like this, right? Uh, right? Here. Videotape. The trick, tape. though, is oh, that oh, there is that? one and only one, and we well, sell it to one buyer. We put only the entire thing just the one. On a tape. Just the one? And just the one. Sell it. Okay, and since there's only one, and the buyer like keeps it. it, and we broke the little tab on the inside so you can't copy it, it is right. non fuckwithable. Here. A non fuckwithable tape. tape, right? NFT for short. It's tape. So it's gonna be a thing. Can we do this? Can this be done? It, it's, it's actually already been done. Buyer. Okay, the one copy of this entire presentation on tape, the one in this player right here, is available online for the first Devolver Max Pass Plus Triple Platinum Elite Gold Star Magnum Double XL tier subscriber to go to DevolverMaxPassPlus.com and buy it. Okay, it is, it is totally non fuckable <laughs> It does, does no damage to the environment. It's already the sold out. Wait, they the did this? Technology supply chain because it is, it's just, I mean, it's just this old tape. Right? That, that Caleb found oh my in, God. A, in, in a box marked Nancy's Fancies. Okay, in the back of an old filing cabinet in the birthing wing. And it's it's also a tape. Fucking brilliant. The chat's saying it already yes. sold. Yeah. They Zane, actually did this. Nina, Margaret, Caleb. This is such wonderful. What the oh, this guy, whoever bought it. They've set themselves up for life. Oh, is that it? Um. Wait, was it, okay? Is is it over? Is there a, a um? Oh. Pfft. Oh, we got some behind the scenes. All right, I I I guess that that's the show. Um. I I would say I've seen previous Devolver Digital press conferences slash skits that are better than this. A little more over the top. This was a little more downplay than I expected. But, you know, at least I, I, I was entertained enough to watch it all the way through. Um... It, and it was definitely... For me, it was better than Ubisoft's and, uh... Certainly gearboxes, because they, they showed a decent amount of, like, like nothing AAA flashy, but some cool projects. Some cool-looking projects. Is this DMC for... Who cares? Just... Yeah, I, yeah it's made up lyrics. I think it's safe. I guess we'll <laughs> finish this off and call it a day. What a weird day this has been. What a weird day to conclude a day. Okay, <laughs> that's that, that. Yep, that's it. Um, but no Kevin Hart says Dave L. So I mean, what was, what's this all been about without Kevin Hart in every single press conference? Uh, the Iron Minotaur. Got to give them props. Despite the pandemic, they were able to pull off the, their amazing shenanigans. GG Devolver. That's one thing to consider for sure. I think maybe part of the reason why they couldn't go as big as they've done in previous years is because of the pandemic, and that might have affected certain things. But, uh... Yeah, okay, that was fascinating, to say the least. 
uh, uh, Corto Maltes says, uh, Maltese, Mar Maltese. I am pleasantly surprised, not even gonna lie. <laughs> Brad a spiff, a spliff. Devolver definitely wins today. Yeah, this isn't everyone's cup of tea. Um, I know that, but I don't know. They're 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 trying something a little weird and different, and I I, I like that. And they through their skits call out industry shenanigans, and the fact that they're doing stuff like they actually sold the one tape up on the digital Devolver website. Like, the, the skit that actually turned into a meta thing, they actually did that. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, and it's already sold out, apparently. Damn. Wonder what they're going to do with this. Are they going to play it on their VHS player? Are they going to sell it on eBay? Is ah, What has Devolver Digital kickstarted here? But, um, yeah, the who, um, who fist 123 puts it nicely. It's not bland. That's what I'll give Devolver Digital. The press conferences never feel bland. Even if it's a little cringe at times, other times it's insanity. Um, their skits hold up enough where I'm able to actually watch them and enjoy them and enjoy some of those game showcases along the way. And the game showcases themselves, there was some interesting stuff here. Nothing that made me go, wow, day one purchase or anything. But enough titles where I'm like, ooh, what's this and what's that? And what's that? I want to look into that more. So that's cool. Um, so Maya, Goel, uh, better than Ubisoft and Gearbox combined. Looking forward to Microsoft presentation. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, 10 a.m. Tune in for that one. Uh, that, that should be interesting. As I said before, that's the big one. That's kind of the, what I think most people will be tuning in for. Xbox really has to knock this one out of the park. Really show that there is a slew of consistent, high-quality releases coming. And we need to see some of those Bethesda games. We absolutely will see Starfield, from what I understand, at this year's E3. So, there's a lot to look forward to still. Um, and then I'm also looking forward to Nintendo, which will be nice. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2, um, Metroid Prime hopefully will be there, Bayonetta 3. So, we'll see. We'll see. For now, though, uh, so far the, the best press conference has been Summer Game Fest. Uh, with the uh, Elden Ring reveal at the end and some other cool things along the way. Uh, some more Super Chats. Uh... <laughs> Mr. Blue Bloodmon, you bought the tape, didn't you, Yong? We all know your secret. I wish I could say that were the case, but I tune into this Devolver Digital showcase late. Uh, I, I wasn't there live as it happened because I thought Gearbox's press conference would be uh, worth tuning in for, and it absolutely wasn't. The Raven Flow, I'm interested in the games, but I no longer respond to devs who call out the industry. They aren't cool, and eventually they'll do the same for money. We'll see. You know, Devolver Digital so far, they've been good about how they sell their games and their business models and everything, but yeah. Uh, you never know. But it's still funny. I don't know. It's still fun. <laughs> uh, at least for me. Not for everyone, I'm sure. The Yong Tape. Patrick Sharp says. All right, folks. Well, you asked, and I, I hope uh, this was worthwhile for you. I hope you had fun reacting alongside myself at the insanity that this stuff tends to be. Hopefully, they can go bigger next year with, with uh, like, there are some previous press conferences that just are hard to top. But with the pandemic dying down, hopefully, they'll be able to get more creative. Yeah, still had a decent time. Still had a decently fun time, especially hanging out with all of you. But that's it, folks. Uh, I think that this is a good place to end the press conferences for the day. Look forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be especially busy, so stay tuned. And appreciate all of you. With that, I will see you guys next time.